welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be looking at another interview question uh, and this one is removing elements in place so basically um, uh, the, the problem is uh, the problem that's been given to us is basically we have given an array and a value and we need to remove that value basically all instances of that particular value that's been given to us from the array okay and uh, then we need to return the new length um, like you know uh, of the array so this operation has to be in place and we are given only of one extra memory that means we only have like you know um, just we can only create one pointer and that's how we can actually do it so just to understand a little bit more about the problem uh this is uh the uh, uh sample uh so we have three two two three and value is given value that's given to us is three that means we need to replace all instances of three in place okay so we need to replace this three and this three and we need to return uh basically the new length which is going to be just remaining two and two so um Let's take a look at another example, uh, basically 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 0, 4, 2. Now we are given 2. In this case, we need to replace 2, uh, remove basically 2 uh, from all the instances, and then return the new length, which is going to be 5. So it is going to be 0, 1, 3, and uh, 0, and 4. OK, so that's going to be the ordering. So we need to keep the order same. The order of the element uh, can be changed, but like, you know, um, um, so OK, so that's actually a good hint. Uh, sorry, I forgot about that. The order of the element can change, OK? Uh, but um, you can keep it same too. So that's actually a good thing. Uh, now, with this question, uh, does it give you any hint what could it possibly be a variation of. Uh, if nothing comes to mind, uh, check out the previous video. Uh, so in the previous video, uh, we uh, discussed remove zero, okay? Or move zero towards the end. Uh, if you look at this problem closely, this is what we are doing. We are moving three, that given value, towards the end. Uh, this question can be changed that way. So we can move two and two at the front and three at the very back. And we have two, two, three, three. And three very well can be replaced with zero. That becomes move all zeros to the end, okay? Similarly in this one, if you see, um, if we have zero, one, two, two, three. So we move all twos towards the end. So we have zero, one, three, zero, four. And then remaining array is filled with twos, which can be replaced with zero and it becomes a uh, move zero problem. Okay, so with that hint, uh, I would say like, you know, uh, take a, a pause the video here, uh, come with your, with your algorithm um, and uh, then we can uh, see what we came up with in the next, in the, uh, in like, you know, after a brief pause. Okay, all right, so we'll take a pause. Hope that went well. Let's uh, take a look at the solution that we came up with. So uh, we are, once again, uh, we're going to follow the same approach as zero, remove zeros uh, or move zeros towards the end. And what we're going to do is uh, we are simply going to uh, take um, iterate over a number. If the number currently iterated over a number is not equal to the value that's been given that needs to be removed, then we can increment our pointer. Okay. So we're going to increment our pointer from uh, 0 to 1. And uh, before incrementing, we're going to uh, take our array and uh, basically uh, at the location of that pointer, we're going to replace it with currently iterated over a current item that we're iterating over. So nums index is going to become num, and then uh, the number that we're iterating over, and then we increase the index. Okay. Now, at the end, uh, the index that that you are remaining uh, that you are remained with, like whatever it had it has increased to, will become your final length. So this is what's going to return. And if you want to make everything zero or like you know same value as like you know basically that value that's been given, you can simply uh, assign for the remaining for the remainder of the number uh, to that value. Just like we did, like you know we set all the other values after our index to zeros 
you show that all those map values have been moved, all zeros have been moved towards the end. Okay, so similar operation we're gonna do here. Okay, and eventually we're gonna return the index. So hopefully uh, that's uh, easy enough to follow, like even we have actually gone through uh, zeros, moving zeros. So uh, if not, uh, please check out moving zeros one more time and then come back to this problem. This problem is gonna look exactly similar. Let's take a look at the lab and see the implementation. It's gonna be pretty much the same. So fun, uh, remove element, okay? That's what you're gonna call this. You're gonna take an array of integer and the value that needs to be moved. And you're gonna return at length as integer. Integer has basically the length of the of the array that does not have that element. Okay. Now you're gonna this is just for Swift. You're gonna keep a copy, create a copy of the array gonna get our index, initialize it with zero, gonna iterate over our array. And we're gonna say if the item is not equal to that value that you've been given, then you're gonna say array item is equal to the, sorry, array at index is equal to the item. Okay, and we say index plus equal one. All right, so once again, the concept is uh, both are gonna start from zero index. The pointer is gonna start from zero index and the item, the looping is gonna start from zero index. They're gonna be follow hand in hand until it reaches the point where the item becomes the item is exactly same, the value that needs to be removed. That time, the pointer is gonna fall behind because we're not gonna go inside this uh, this particular condition. And that's where our values are gonna start replacing. Basically, uh, uh, for the next iteration, the values of array uh, or the item that's been iterated on is gonna be replaced the value at the index of the uh, array. So at the uh, pointer, basically where the pointer is pointing. So that's how uh, we're gonna basically uh, move all the values uh, by like, you know, that many times as it appears in the array. Uh, and then uh, at the very end, you're gonna get all your elements except the, the value that you're actually, that you need to remove uh, towards the front of the array and a uh, whole bunch of other things. Uh, like, you know, other values that you copied over. So then you actually, once again, iterate. So before iterating, we need to save the length, result. So we can return it. And then we say um, index, I in index to array.count. And we simply take our array at i index and replace all the other values with the value that needs to be removed. Okay, uh, just for the sake of uh, basically printing and seeing like you know, what we have updated, we're gonna print the array and we're gonna return the result. Okay, let's take uh, supply on the use case and see if it's actually working. So we're gonna use from our example, uh, three, two, two, three, so three, two, two, three. And, um, okay, so uh, what do we have? Oh, yeah, for a second parameter, we are missing three. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, uh, the, that two has moved, has been moved towards the front and three has been moved towards the end. So this sort of, this could very well be cause move all threes to the end or like, you know, move the element to the end or remove that element because we are returning only the length, um, uh, like length. So user who's calling this function can just iterate over to the length to get the unique values or values without that element that needs to be removed. Now, second example, zero, one, two, two, three. So let's take that one. 
zero, one, two, two, three, four, two, three, three, zero, four, two. And you need to, you want to remove two from this one. So uh, let's see. So we have zero, one, three, three in the same order, zero, four in the same order, and twos are moved towards the end. Okay. So yeah, so this is it uh, for uh, this video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, another uh, uh, another great interview question. Uh, and once again, the fan complexity, just to give you a hint, is O of n. Uh, please, please uh, do compute and see uh, if you can come with the solution how it got to O of n. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.